Hello and welcome to Tats Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and this is the first video of a series about digital publishing with InDesign Creative Cloud. In this introduction video, I'm going to mainly talk about what is digital publishing, why is it so important to learn about it, uh, most of the important terms used in digital publishing, and also what is Adobe offering in their digital publishing suite? So first of all, the definition of digital publishing. It's the production and distribution of traditionally printed materials like books, magazines, newspapers, catalogs, etc. in an electronic form. The main forms of digital publishing are ebooks, ePubs, PDFs, ebook apps, and also web pages and blogs. Even though we are not thinking about these as digital publishing formats, they are still forms of digital publishing because we are sharing content in an electronic way, mainly online, and that is part also of digital publishing. With the first Amazon Kindle hitting the market in 2007 and the first iPad in 2010, digital publishing is a fairly young industry. At present, there are millions of ebook capable devices used around the world. And in 2011, a report showed that ebooks outsold print books at Amazon. Jeff Bezos, Amazon's chief executive, said, We had high hopes that this would happen eventually, but we never imagined it would happen this quickly. Ebooks have become vastly more accessible to consumers in the last couple of years. Across the industry, publishers have been rapidly digitizing their catalog of books, making older titles available in ebook form for the first time. Even smaller independent houses that had resisted selling ebooks have changed their position and discovered a new way to sell their older books. I don't want to talk about the ease of reading ebooks compared to printed books and all the other advantages. Uh, I rather concentrate on the terms that are used in digital publishing. So uh, these are the things that you should know about before you do anything in digital publishing because you will meet these terms a lot. So first of all, CSS, which is the cascading style sheet. Now this is a coding language used to describe the look and feel of HTML content. Ebook, or uh, it's a short for electronic book, it's a generic term used for many forms of digital publication. E-ink, short for electronic ink. This is a display technology that relies on reflected ambient light rather than backlight technology to display content. EPUB is short for electronic publication. It's a form of ebook coded in HTML and CSS. E-reader, which is a portable device capable of displaying digital publications. DPS, which is short for Adobe Digital Publishing Suite, which is Adobe's solution for creating digital publication apps for tablet devices iBook is Apple's own proprietary ebook format exclusively for the iPad tablet. And PDF is a portable document format, which is Adobe's universal file format for sharing documents across multiple operating systems. And then now that we talked about these terms, I would like to concentrate specifically on the DPS term, which is the short for Adobe Digital Publishing Suite. And this is a hosted solution with three additions that share much of the same publishing functionality. There's the professional and enterprise editions that add distribution, monetization, and measurement capabilities to the single edition. Single edition is for individual designers and small design studios that need to publish a single app. You can design, submit, and update an unlimited number of iPad apps when you get Digital Publishing Suite Single Edition, and you get this as part of the complete Creative Cloud membership. And with this, you can easily add interactivity to your iPad layout in InDesign, preview for immediate feedback, and then use Digital Publishing Suite to prepare the app for submission to the Apple App Store. And you can do this all without writing any code. 
Compared to this, the professional edition is for mid-sized media companies and business publishers that need an off-the-shelf solution. And the enterprise edition is for larger media corporations or brand organizations and advertising holding companies that need a custom solution. You can find a comparison chart here on Adobe's site for the digital publishing suite single edition. You just need to click on buying guide and then you will be able to compare the uh, options or features of each of these editions and you can also find uh, the pricing for your region. So you can see that with the uh, Creative Cloud, the single edition uh, is the option that comes and you have an additional option to design, prepare and package an unlimited number of apps to submit to the Apple App Store. And if I go to my Creative Cloud uh, download center, here I can show you that there is the digital publishing suite single edition included. So if I click on this, I can see exactly what I can do with this. And there's a lot of videos here already helping me to start working with this. But let me just give you a quick overview of the options that we have in InDesign Creative Cloud that we can use for digital publishing or creating interactive documents. So there's a workspace that's specifically designed for digital publishing and you can choose this and then you will be able to see all the panels that you should work with most of the time whenever you create this type of content. By the way, you can always find this content or these panels here in the window menu as well. And you will find most of them under interactive, but you will also have folio overlays and folio builder panels specifically for creating apps, uh, the single edition apps for the Apple App Store. So you can find uh, these panels here on the right and there are so many additional options and I am going to cover all of these in this series in great detail. So if you want to learn everything about how to use these features, make sure you join me in this series in the following episodes. The InDesign is not the only application which comes with the Creative Cloud membership that you need to use for creating uh, this type of content, digital publishing uh, content. You also have to use the Digital Publishing App Builder, so DPS App Builder, which again needs you to be signed in to your Creative Cloud membership, and then you will be able to upload and uh, publish applications through this software. And if you want to preview whatever you create, you also need another application on your iPad, uh, which you can download from the App Store. This is called Adobe Content Viewer. Once again, I'm going to talk about all this in greater detail in the following episodes. And in this series, I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about not only how to use InDesign and this digital publishing suite, but also how to create interactive documents. So we will cover the types of interactive documents that you can create, how to customize InDesign, how to create interactive buttons, forms, objects, multiple state objects, adding videos and slideshows, uh, working with hyperlinks, bookmarks, cross-references, how to work with animation, use Adobe Edge together with InDesign, creating EPUBs, InDesign documents for mobile devices, and how to create digital publishing apps uh, with InDesign and the digital publishing suite. So if you are interested to learn more about all this, make sure you join me next time as well here on Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.